We begin with Milwaukee County's presidential recount. It wrapped up this afternoon. The Board of Canvassers approved the results tonight. President-elect Joe Biden picked up 257 votes from the unofficial election night results. President Donald Trump, who requested and paid for the recount, picked up 125. That brings Biden, Biden's lead statewide to 20,740. Matt Smith has tonight's developments from the Wisconsin Center. The recount ended much like it started. Welcome to recount day seven. A seemingly empty 186,000 square foot room inside the Wisconsin Center as the city of Milwaukee ran its final ballots. 65 remained missing. That's their job. They need to figure that out. The city discovered the problem Wednesday. What they thought were the ballots found at the commission's warehouse were actually test ballots. The Board of Canvassers here voting to end the recount without the 65 missing ballots, meaning they won't be counted in the statewide total. For the total number of votes cast for the President of the United States. In the end, not much changed. Joe Biden with a net gain of 132 votes. That elections in Milwaukee County are fair, transparent, accurate, and secure. Now some 27,000 ballots are set aside from Milwaukee County alone for President Trump to potentially file a post recount lawsuit. Attorneys representing the Trump campaign declined to comment. I trust that the Trump campaign is looking forward to its day in court. As for the roughly 460,000 ballots that were recounted here, they have left the Wisconsin Center tonight and are back at the courthouse. In Milwaukee, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Dane County is the other place in Wisconsin where the Trump campaign asked for a recount. That's being done at Monona Terrace in Madison. As of this morning, the Dane County clerk said the recount was about 65% done. It's expected to wrap up on Sunday.